sort out a car for you. Just a complete surprise, yeah? <laughs> so... No way! <laughs> Habibi, come to Dubai! <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, so it is Eid and we're currently in Dubai. I'm down low because Kai is the cameraman today, ain't you Kai? Yeah? yeah. Kai is cameraman, so we're gonna have to get down a bit low. If I go up tall, Kai, you gotta follow me with the camera, yeah? So Eid Mubarak to all of my Muslim followers. We literally landed here this morning at 5 a.m. with proper jet lag, we're tired. We just had a little afternoon nap, didn't we Kai? Yep. And we're gonna head down to the Burj Khalifa because apparently that's where it's all happening. I wanna see some cars. This is my first time ever in Dubai, so I'm mega excited. And look, even behind me here at the hotel, Currently at um, Atlantis, the Palm. There's a Ferrari there. There's another Ferrari behind, and um, Rolls, Rolls Royce. Royce. Rolls Royce over there. Bentley flying spur, spur over there, and it was just an AMG GTR outside the front of the hotel as well. This is just the start of it, though, guys. Oh, the hotel. Look at the hotel, man. Thank you, Thank you mate. Where do we get taxi from when we leave? Where's the... We get in Dubai Mall. Dubai Mall yeah, taxi. Yeah, yeah. Over there, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now sadly they were super strict about me filming in and around the mall which I completely respect because there is lots of people around so I couldn't do too much filming at all but I can tell you that the atmosphere and the overall energy around the Burj Khalifa and that area was unbelievable. Car wise it wasn't a crazy amount of cars but there was just so many people out on the streets enjoying themselves which was really nice to see. So we had a bit of food down there and made our way back to the hotel ready for a surprise the following morning. So it is a couple of days on now I received a phone call from one of my guys back home last night and he's like, Calv, we're gonna sort out a car for you. Just a complete surprise, yeah? <laughs> so I was like, really, that's amazing. Uh, so shout out to Fahim uh, from, from Luton. He's, he does car hire, does like um, chauffeur driving, stuff like that. And just an out of the blue phone call, he knew I was in Dubai and he thought he'd just show some love. So I don't know what car it is yet. He did say it's gonna be a Range Rover. But then I received a message from one of his friends who's here in Dubai. Uh, this was at literally 3 a.m. this morning. Fahim said you were staying in Atlantis. I've dropped the car off to you. It's outside. It's not a Vogue, but I'm sure you will enjoy it. And he did say to me to keep it a surprise for you. So at this stage, we don't know what car it is. He's then sent a message to say the car number plate is F Dubai, and then he's given me the reg. So we know the reg of the car. So we can go outside out the front shortly and try and find it. And he did also say that it's green. It's a green car. What car do you think it could be? Yours. A Urus. Oh, well, well, because there's three. Do you reckon? Well, because there's three people, so it's got to be more than two CR. I feel like that would be amazing, but a Urus would be massively generous. Like a Range Rover Vogue would have been cool, but I don't know. We're going to find out shortly. Anyway, before we go out, sorry, Kai. I'll show you the view. This hotel is amazing. Dubai is amazing, by the way. It is the most incredible place. The people are wonderful. The whole security factor of Dubai as well. Like back home, like this time last week, we were chasing um, or looking around Luton for a, an M3 that got stolen from my yard. That sort of stuff doesn't happen here. And if it does, there's some serious consequences. You, your, your hand gets chopped off. Apparently your hand gets chopped off, apparently. I don't know how true that myth is, but um, anyway, the view, check this out. We just got like a basic room as well, but we've got the, the palm view and it's incredible. Like, look at the... We get the train, uh, the Burj Khalifa's in there. Burj Khalifa's in that direction, the pool. Just a, such a beautiful place. But anyway, on the subject of beautiful, let's get that door closed and... Um, it's getting a bit dark. We shall head downstairs and go see what the mystery Green car is quite, yeah? Green car. The thing of the colour green is... It's special. It's a special colour. You're right, Kai. You're exactly right. And it can't be like a like a, like a Range Rover that's green, because then it would look a bit weird. I know, and I kind of feel like I'm being a bit optimistic saying it's a, a Lamborghini Urus. Kai, you actually sat in a Urus when we first got it, didn't you? I actually did. A guy was just chatting, we'd just see a guy parked at the front of the hotel, and I was like... And he's English. my boy, have a, and he was yeah, English as well. It was a hire car. 
And he, um, he was proper sound. He said, mate, my boy just had a little look inside your car. He goes, yeah, yeah. John people got a picture of you in the driver's seat, didn't we? Yeah. It was well nice. So, um, yeah, let's head down to reception, grab the keys. Let's show everyone the, um, the fish. Look at that, look. You think it's yours? Yes. Yes. Surely or, not. Or maybe it's you, I don't know. I don't know. They can't just go from nothing to a Range Rover, then to a Euro, yeah. surely. I reckon it's just a Mercedes or something. It could be a Merc, that's a good point. I don't know. A BM, don't know. Anything. Don't matter. Whatever it is, we're happy. Yeah, it's right to see if a football team scores or not. It's Kai, like... look. No way. <laughs> that is joke. <laughs> that is sick. Thank you. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is jokes. I haven't got phone. We're actually sat in a bloody Lamborghini in Dubai. This is ridiculous, man. <laughs> oh my god, let's go put it over there. Let's get out and have a proper look at it. And yeah? um, plus there's screens in the back as well. And there's screens in the back. In the green with green interior. How this is amazing. This is so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Did you work out the screens in the back, Kai? Yeah. It's yeah? Nice. That's good. So we're on the right hand side of the road, yeah? We'll keep that in mind. Is it weird driving on this side? It is weird, yeah. I'll get used to it though. Like. Yeah. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an acrophobic exhaust as well, I know. Yeah. Which is a better exhaust. Listen, you can hear it crackling. So we're just going for a little drive. We've decided, I think we're going to go to the mall, aren't we? That's the plan. Yeah, get some food. Get some food. I've done all my stuff on Instagram, from fighting around, taking photos of the car, showing the world. So anyone that follows me on Instagram would have already known that. We got this car today, but for us, like Dubai, we've been wanting to come here for ages, haven't we? Yeah. We've actually yeah. wanted to come here for so long. Eight years ago, I remember thinking I don't actually feel like Dubai's for me because I thought it might be a bit over the top, a bit fancy, you know, I'm a little bit like rough around the edges, if you like. But um, it's I'm. Been really good, it's it? been so good. I'm so impressed with this place, honestly. We went to DMO's birthday party last night as well. That was cool. Uh, just that random. He was out here and he sent me a message to say, Cal, I live here now. It's my birthday tonight. I oh, saw it tomorrow night. And um, do you want to come to the party? So we went there last night as well, didn't we, Kai? Yeah. Which was cool. So currently we're on the, in a tunnel heading out of the palm. Um, I can show you my phone. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but I suppose. So you can see there's a sat nav there. We're heading down south out of the palm now. Uh, there's a mall apparently on the palm somewhere. So, and if I put, spot any cars, we've got a, we've got the camera as well. So, obviously, being Eid, there is some incredible cars on the road. We've seen so many cool cars. I want to see a Bugatti. Seeing a Bugatti on the road would be amazing. The guy just said we can park in this bay. He was very kind. Engine start, stop. Switch the engine off. Open the door, check this out, look. <laughs> Lamborghini stamp on the floor. Just showing the world, in case they already didn't know that you are in a Lamborghini. Even little things like camera on the back seat, yeah? I'd never do this in England, just leave a camera on the back seat, but in Dubai, you can do that. One looks better than mine, definitely. Yeah, actually does. And Kai, is that what your main thing? Yeah, so you've got the chicken soup and chicken dumplings. Yeah, it's like Polish food, isn't it? But with some Turkish twist. So cool. So the mall that we just went to is definitely 
cheaper than the mall, the other mall, the main mall, the buy mall. Far more affordable. We had a bit of lunch. Kai got some crops. Yep. I've got a pretty cool t-shirt as well. It looks like a designer t-shirt. It looks like it's worth like 500 pounds or something. It's crazy. It looks like a, a valuable t-shirt, but it was about 60 quid. So that was cool as well. Flick the switch up. Do you know how to do it, Kai? Start the Lambo. Listen to that. That's it. We are back on the road now. Out of the car park. Such a cool engine. Obviously they put these engines in so many different things. And this particular car has got some unbelievable spec. I don't know if they all come with Alcantara headlining, but it's got Alcantara headlining. It's got banging Olsen sound with little speakers on the dash there. Obviously rear entertainment, which we spoke about earlier. Loads of carbon fiber, the green stitching as well. I'm guessing that would have been an optional extra. So much going for it. This is like the dream spec car for me. Even the fact that it's green. I think if I was buying a Lamborghini Urus, this is exactly what I would buy. It is it's perfect, isn't it, Kai? That's not even the sports mode, is it? That's sport now. Oh, there you go. It's making a bit more noise now. Let's go again. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> so the plan for us now is we're heading back to the hotel. I ain't got a clue. Oh, I don't even know what we're doing, but we're gonna. I want to try and find some nice cars. That's kind of the goal for being here in Dubai for me as a, as a car guy. So I want to see some nice cars. I want to get that on camera. Obviously, we're going to be getting some more use out of the Urus as well. So um, yeah, going to head back to the hotel now, get parked up with valet parking as well. <laughs> Super posh. And then, um, yeah, we'll be back soon with um, hopefully some nice cars in Dubai. We have a plan, we have a plan. I'm gonna get the GoPro set up, get out in the window there. Kai's just getting photos with the car. Because <laughs> it's made Kai's holiday, I tell you. This car is like, Dad, I can't believe we're going out in a Lamborghini. Like, it, it has just been massive for him. So, <laughs> he's posing on the bonnet of the Lambo now. Uh, but yeah, we've got a little bit of a plan. I'm gonna get a camera in the window and uh, talk about what we're gonna be doing for this rest of our trip and also the rest of this video. So, um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we went to DMO's birthday party. I didn't come out here with intentions of meeting up with DMO, by the way. It's just a pure coincidence that he's here and he's got a, he's had his birthday party this week. He's also getting married this week in Dubai, which is unbelievable that he's actually booked a wedding in Dubai. It must have cost a bloody fortune, uh, but it's so cool that he's doing that. So, um, the wedding is today. The wedding is today. And when I went to his party, I've noticed, like, hey, you need to come to my wedding. I was like, amazing, man. Like, obviously honored to be invited to his wedding. Um, so, but obviously when we come out here, we had, we had no plans that we was going to a wedding. We definitely haven't got clothing for a no, wedding, have we? Especially not me. Especially not you. So I'm not too fussed. I've got a little shirt. I might have to stick a pair of shorts. I don't know what I'm going to wear, but she wants to get a dress. So we're going to be now head into Dubai Mall, which I said earlier in the video is probably or seemingly the more expensive mall. Um, but they've got a Zara there. So we're gonna head to Zara, hopefully quickly find a dress, and then we're gonna be heading to DMO's wedding later on in the, uh, later on this evening. Don't know if I'm gonna be getting that much of that on camera. I'm sure I probably will get some some of it on camera. And um, we've also booked to end our trip, which is gonna be mega cool. We're going for like a safari tour. I say safari, it's like a desert tour, isn't it? Desert safari thing. Camel buggy, the can am we've, yeah, we've, we've rented a part of the trip is like it's like a package, and we're going to be driving one of them can am, can -am buggies as well. So uh, that'd be cool. I, keep, see, I see a lot of people on social media seemingly doing that type of thing as well. So uh, we're going to be doing that later in the video. But for now, let's get a, let's get a dress for Magdalena and um, get to hopefully, hopefully, yeah, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's quick and easy, and get to DMO's wedding. So we arrived at the mall, found a parking space for the car, and spent a good couple of hours wandering around looking at dresses. Magdalena finally found a dress that she was happy with, and I decided to try a few bits on myself. Just in a change of rooms, and um, you know, I think I found myself a nice little outfit. Look, casual joggers, but they've got like, a line at the front, so they look quite smart. A little bit of a shirt, got the guns on show as well. So that was me sorted as well. Now it's time to get back to the car. Shopping is done. I even got myself an outfit, which is good. And I've got a dress. You got your dress. And I got a fan. I got a fan. Sorted. <laughs> we, we like fans. <laughs> yeah. Um, in drive. 
and off we go back to the hotel, get ready and get to the wedding. So we just had a text message from the guy who dropped the car off and he needs to come pick it up because uh, he's got someone else who wants to hire it, obviously someone who wants to pay for it, which is far better than me as a customer. So uh, before he takes it, he said he's swapping over with another car as well, by the way, so I don't know what car it's going to be. I'm guessing it ain't going to be quite as exciting as the Lamborghini Urus, but I am looking forward to seeing what it is. Uh, but before I give it back to him, I need to put some fuel in it. So I'm currently looking for, or well, we've found the destination for a petrol station, but I just can't work out, just can't work out where the actual petrol station is. I did eventually find a petrol station and the total cost to fill up the Lamborghini Urus in Dubai at a cost of three dirhams per litre was just shy of 70 pounds. Not bad at all. We've got a Jeep wagon. No way. Don't lie. That is sick. <laughs> Hello, mate. So that's the Lambo gone now and um, I am not going to be driving the G-Wagon instantly because I've got to get in, get ready, get to this wedding. We are running a bit late now as well, which is a bit annoying because I want to drive the G-Wagon, but what a car, man. Honestly, what a car. Red leather interior. The spec's unbelievable. Red leather interior, carbon fibre on the steering wheels, flat bottom steering wheel as well. I'm guessing they don't all come with that steering wheel because that's a seriously cool steering wheel. Carbon on the dash. It's obviously got the, because it's a newer G-Wagon, it's got the, um, the twin LCD display across the centre of the dash there as well. Uh, I did have a G-Wagon a couple of years back. Some of you might remember it on the channel it was an earlier car 2013 the 2013 cars are nothing like these this is so it's a completely different car although it ain't a completely different car it feels completely different to drive to look at i say to drive i've not even driven it yet i'm excited though alcantara headlining it's got a sunroof as well uh, it's got the amg badges in the seats there which i'm guessing they've all got um, i'm not sure if this is standard if it is or isn't i don't know but it does look really good more carbon fiber in the center there as well Big handle on the dash there, also with carbon fiber in that. Burmeister, Burmeister sound. Uh, what else has it got going for it? Obviously black, black with red leather is the, is the color combo to have. It's got screens in the, it's got rear entertainment as well, which is a nice extra. Yeah, surely this isn't, this is an optional extra. Surely that is, that stitch leather. Really, really nice. And um, yeah, just such a cool, listen to it ticking over. Listen to how it ticks over. Sounds like a bloody Chinook. Listen. Sounds unbelievable. Right, anyway, I've got to park it up, give it to the valet drivers, and um, go get ready. Look at it, look at this car, man. <laughs> wow. I'm so excited, man. I am so excited. I can't believe it. Fahim, what are you doing to me? <laughs> what are you doing to me? Would you rather have this and a whole load of money in your bank, or would you rather have a Lamborghini Euro? Some people, you know, wouldn't want either one of them, but. Is, um, this is a seriously cool car. In drive, and we're gonna spin it round, back round to the valet. Oh mate, this is a, this is a bit of me, this car. And I go round that way, back round to the valet. Yes, we can. All the way round. I like it. It's just something beastly about a G wagon, isn't it? They're just. <laughs> They're just so unique. Not that a, that a Lamborghini Urus ain't unique, but G-Wagons are serious, aren't they? This is it all the way, all the way, Cal. Very, very cool. <laughs> right, you take this one now, yeah? Yes. Thank you, sir. Hey, <laughs> think, buddy. Thank you. These guys must think I'm loaded. This, um, <laughs> this holiday is full of surprises. So I've just had another call from um, Atim at Apex Rentals who's Fahim's friend. And um, basically, <laughs> they obviously dropped the G-Wagon off a couple of days ago, which has been brilliant. I'll say it's been brilliant. We actually haven't used it, have we? Nope. We've been very, very busy doing other stuff. Went to the water park today, which was wicked. Um, uh, I went on my first big water slide. So yeah, they've just contacted me to say that basically they want to come and grab the G-Wagon, but in return, they want to, they've want they got a surprise for us. And this surprise is, um, is something special. So. Yeah. So Kai said to me, he messaged me five minutes ago to say he's five minutes away. White Range Rover's just pulled up over there. That looks proper nice, black roof. No, I don't think that's him. I don't think that is him. That's a nice car though, isn't it? The Rolls Royce is about to pass the camera is the car that her team is about to drop off. For some crazy reason, I literally didn't notice that it went past me. He's pulling up now, apparently. What have we got? 
We've got a Range Rover. It's a Range Rover, isn't it? Is that him? 561, the plate isn't that. Surely, no, that's a lady driving that. We've got a G Wagon. Is that our G Wagon? I think that's it there. That's our G Wagon. This is cool. I really like that. There's a Rolls Royce there, Clay. I didn't even see that Rolls Royce pull up. No, <laughs> oh, it's a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing. This is like my dream car. My dream car is literally a Rolls Royce Wraith. And I'm it's got Wraith, starlight man. ceiling as well and a sunroof. So the starlight ceiling probably wasn't an, a factory option because they didn't come with both. You could either have one or the other, which is a pain really, because I, I love a sunroof, as you lot know. So um, what we're doing now is to, we just wanted to come outside to obviously see what car we've been given for the third time. Shout out to Apex again, <laughs> nice surprise. Um, we're actually heading out this evening. We went to DMO's wedding last night. It was absolutely incredible. They've done an amazing job, wasn't it amazing? It was just so amazing, It was yeah. such a good night, man. So shout out to DMO, congrats to him and his wife on the, their wedding. Tomorrow we're going to, where are we going to Safari thing? Um, Desert Safari. Desert Safari, where we're going to be driving a Can-Am and um, try, uh, in the meantime, I'm trying to get some use out of the Rolls Royce as well. We've got a busy last 24 hours, we'll say that, sort of 48 hours, but we're leaving early on Tuesday, aren't we? So yeah. we're going to get done as much as we can. I want to just check out the, the third car of the week. Um, let's see how this, uh, this Safari experience goes. We'll cut to a scene of us there now, and then we'll end the video at some point soon in front of the Rolls Royce or in the Rolls Royce with summarizing our week, week in Dubai, all right? Let's get to the desert. So for the safari trip, which is something that I'd massively recommend if anyone goes to Dubai, we got picked up in a Toyota Land Cruiser by this fella here, Salim, who, may I add, was an absolutely wonderful guy. Took us for an hour drive out to the desert via a shop that I could buy some local Arabic clothing. We then went out in the Can-Am buggies, which were a right laugh. And then after that, Salim took us out for a spin up the sand dunes in the Toyota Land Cruiser, which again, had us in hysterics. We're doing doom fashion. <laughs> <laughs> again, 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 again. Yeah. Again, again. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. <laughs> Habibi, come to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, my week in Dubai is over. Now, a couple of things I want to say before I go is, um, one was one of my brothers messaged me in the week, my brother Aaron says, Cal, surely if this, this has got to be a pinch me moment for you in your life. Like you're in Dubai driving a bloody Lamborghini around Dubai. Like that is, that's a massive moment, surely. And do you know what? This whole week has kind of been like that. It's been, there's been multiple moments during this week that have been just unbelievably, just exciting, man. We've had such a good week here and I couldn't have imagined it to be as good as it has been. So um, yeah, that was a big pinch. It, it, the whole week's been a big pinch me moment. Also, what I want to say is Dubai is a really strict country that you do feel a little, almost to the point where you're a little bit uncomfortable about what you're doing. You don't really know what you can and can't do. You're very careful. You hear about people getting big prison sentences for, for the smallest of things or smallest of things through our eyes anyway. Um, so you sort of find yourself treading on the eggshells slightly to a certain extent. But on the flip side, the security factor, which I mentioned earlier in the video, is such a big, strong point in this country. So although, yeah, they are strict with a lot of things, the plus to that is it's just it just makes your time here feel you just feel relaxed and comfortable because you know that crime is so low that you ain't got to consider that side of life, which is which is it's just it's really nice, man. So um, yeah, I love that about Dubai as well. And I think that's everything. Obviously, I want to say thanks to you lot for joining me on my trip through Dubai. Like this vlog's been very different to my usual vlog. I don't actually know where I'm currently at, by the way. I'm just running around, just left the palm, heading downtown. Don't know where I'm going, but I'll work my way back. Um, but yeah, it's been wicked. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you like this video. It's been very different to my usual style of video. I didn't actually plan to do much of filming this week, but it's turned into a whole week of vlogging, which is pretty cool, because I've got to bring you lot on the journey. And uh, do me a favor as well, if you're on TikTok, give me a follow on TikTok. I've been posting a lot over there. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram and like and subscribe to this channel because I've only got 260,000 subscribers and I want more. Someone actually commented and said to me the other day, Calv, I can't believe you've only got, two, I say only, 260,000 is massive, but 
Come on, man. I've been doing this for 10 plus years. Hit subscribe because you haven't still done, you still haven't done it. Hit subscribe, hit like if you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So on the night before we was due to leave, a storm started brewing in Dubai, which was a little bit concerning for us because we were due to fly out the following morning. Then on the following morning, Apex picked me up in the Cadillac Escalade, which was absolutely lovely. But en route to the airport, the rain really begun to pour. And it was quite honestly, the worst rain I'd ever experienced in my life. Upon arrival to the airport, we realized that our flight had been delayed by an hour, which I didn't think was too bad at all. Then they put us on the plane and we sat on the plane for a further four hours before they saw an opportunity for us to take off. Now, I was super grateful that we did get to take off because looking at the weather outside, it looked like it was never gonna be possible. The weather did continue to deteriorate after we left and there were some severe floods in Dubai, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen on the news and social media. All in all, my trip to Dubai was magical and I'll definitely be going back very, very soon.